Hello everyone, here we are again, 7 o'clock on a Thursday, it's not raining this week and the pubs are open so if you're joining in thanks very much because I know there are far more attractive things to be doing, but anyway enough of that, um, so what we're going to do this week I hear you ask, what we're going to do this week, shout up at the back, um, so what, what I want to do is I'm going to continue with what I did last week, you won't be surprised, but I have a little bit of a confession to make in as much as um, last week after I'd done the uh, the ballerina on the plinth, remember the one, um, I had to go with the gold leaf. Now, I know that some of you were hoping that I'd do the gold leaf live and I'm really glad that I didn't because one, it's really fiddly, two, it's very messy and three, it's um, both of the above. And four, you have to put some adhesive onto the paint um, first. Just now, so I haven't got a light on, which is why it's going dark and light. So I'll just rectify that. Ta da! Um, yeah, where was I? Um, yeah, you have to put some adhesive onto the, um, onto the background for the gold leaf to stick. You have to leave that for half an hour uh, and then you really have to fiddle around with it. And the gold leaf that I was using uh, is um, sort of a very flaky, very flaky uh, top of gold leaf. Um, I will get the painting very shortly to show you the uh, almost finished result. There's a couple of little areas that I'm not uh, overly impressed with, but the general overall impression is quite good. I'm very pleased that a few people have said how nice it looks, which is very nice of them. So, without further ado, if you just hold on there a second, that is ta -da! that's the finished piece. I'll just step back a bit. There you go. Look at that beauty. We're coming soon to an internet browser near you. Um, yeah, so you can see the, the gold does catch the light rather nicely and nice and shiny but there's a couple of little areas I'm not overly impressed with in as much as that just that area around there so I'm just going to now that now that the leaves had a few days to dry off and get nice and properly adhered to the background I'm just going to paint over those areas uh, and then it'll be finished then it'll be time for photographs and it'll be time for Writing something nice and poetic and romantic, darling, about it. Uh, and then I'll get on my website and it'll be for sale. And we'll see what happens after that. Um, so that was that. Now, because that was such a fiddly and messy and awkward thing to do, I'll just show you the gold leaf that I used. The gold leaf that I used. Is this. And as you can see, it's quite flaky, very flaky. It's all this nice little patch, patch. And <clears throat> I've got some of my fingers now. I think you can catch it in the light. No, there you go. Um, but um, yeah, I've got some of my fingers already. That's the, the kind of stuff that it is. And it's really sort of um, awkward to deal with. So I'm glad. Also, I'd love to show you what the process is. Um, I'll have to, um, hello darling, I'll have to um, practice a bit more and get this, get the uh, the skills sort of honed down and um, and uh, be more confident with it first. Because there's no doubt about it, it does take some time. And whilst I know you love my witty banter, um, it's just. Watching me fiddle with gold leaf and cursing and getting it stuck up my nose and everywhere. It's not really, you know, not that entertaining really. So I didn't think it was a good idea. Anyway, what I'm going to do this evening is I'm going to do some more work on the piece that I started the last week. Um, so I'm just going to block in a bit more detail uh, on the flesh tones and I might put some more uh, work, do some more work on the black at the background. Um, and we'll just see how that develops. Now, I don't know if I told you this last week, but I'm going to tell you it again so you don't have to pay attention so much. But what I've also done is I've bought some more gold leaf. Ba -ba 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 -ba. And you can't really see 
what it is at the moment. So I'm just going back to make a right mess of it. Um, and just get that off there. Sticky things always stick to things that you don't want them to stick to. <clears throat> so shiny. Can you see that? Very shiny. Very shiny. That's gold leaf. And that is copper leaf. Look at that, beautiful. It's so thin and delicate. You've just got to be so careful with it because it just creases and splits. And that, boys and girls, that is silver leaf. Shiny, shiny. Very shiny. And that, my penny bead chums, will be going onto this lovely ballerina's uh, material that she's got. I'll just turn you around just a little bit. There we go. Oh, there we go. So that's going to go along there, and all of the light bits will be done in gold, and the dark bits and the shadow will be done in copper leaf. And then what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to get a sponge. So as well as I put the glue on, it's all very um, dappled and not too formulaic. A bit like one of these. So as you can see, there's nice lots of holes in there. So when I apply the glue with that, it won't go on in a regular sort of way. There's a nice little tip I watched off some very good artist on YouTube. <clears throat> so I'm going to do that on this with the silver so you'll have gold on it then you'll have copper for the shadows which will be nice and darker um and i'll tell you what's back to me hello and um <clears throat> then um i'll put some little highlights on of the silver and it should really ping should, ooh, quite exciting so um that'll be done as the last real the last operation for this i'm actually i'm going i'm going to treat it as though i'm painting with gold leaf it's going to be a bit messy and tricky and fiddly but i'm reasonably confident it will be successful that will look amazing if i can get it to work so fingers crossed that i can anyway on to tonight's episode i've waddled on enough for a bit only for a bit so brush selection time what shall i use this week what shall i use I think I'll start over the number two. A couple of number twos. There's a nice number two. Look at that beautiful Dale Arane Aquafine. Actually, an acrylic brush, but that's a lovely brush. Got a kit. Just that there you go. Holds so quite a nice point. Ink that against my t-shirt. Um, great for doing a bit of detail. So I'll just get my reference up. So I've got something to. Um, Paint two. Just bear with me a second. Just talk amongst yourselves for a while. So, right then. So, I'm going to put in a, a fair bit of mid tone on this, which, as you can see, I'll we'll just spin you around again. Actually, I'll just turn that one. Right, there we go. That was probably a bad thing to do, actually. I'm just going to just come out the back of the light. There we go. Slight technical adjustment, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, there we go. You were slightly on the skew if does that make you feel better? I don't think I'm passing out and feeling nauseous on me because I'm a bit on the uh, whatever. Um, so mid tone, bit of medium, bit of mid tone, and away we go. Nice bit of tone on there. So I've got the light effectively is coming from this side across there. So that's going to, that side of her is going to be lighter, and that side of her is going to be darker. And I need to maintain that so all the tones fitting correctly through the painting, through the piece. So I'm just going to put, in fact, I'm going to do another thing here, which I maybe should have done when I was setting up, but never mind. You're here now, so let's get cracking. I'm just going to put that there, and I'm going to move that just across to there, so as... I can support my mile stick above the piece I'm painting. So there we go. 
Natasha, good evening. Thank you for joining. It's very nice of you to pop in and have a look. So away we go. Away we go, indeed. So mid tone is going on, and a bit more mid on that. It's a little bit too, a little bit too dry. Not quite fluid enough. <clears throat> so here we go again. Mid tone down to down there. So this is a case again of just building up, building up the layers nice and steadily. I've got it slightly different on this piece to my reference. So my reference, she's wearing a leotard which goes right the way up there, right to the front and then comes down the front. So I've just got to be aware of where the tonality is on my reference and transfer that to my main piece. So this lady has excellent muscle tone excellent muscle tone so that does make her easier to paint because there's more to focus on so that can go up there like that what i'm going to do is one of my one of my usual tricks so i'm just going to put that there get out another number two brush and i'm going to just pop some lighter tone on my other brush so as I can do the one area all at the same time. There we go. There we go. So I can say it's light down the front because that's the direction of the light. As I've said before, this is just all about painting light. And as soon as you understand that, then you can understand what art's all about. Well, figurative and still life and landscape. Abstract's a bit different because you're not bothered where the light comes from in abstract, obviously. But it's all about colour balance and the colour wheel and such intricate items. So there we go. Down, bring that there, front of her knee. Lovely. Just pop out a bit too much there, so I'm going to have to correct that with the black. So that's what deliberately, I've deliberately left the black um, background away from the figure because that way I can then correct any mistakes that I make and there's one I made just there last week and I am yet to correct it because I've got a front of a shin coming out far too wide far too much on her leg And I don't like it. It just looks a bit strange. And we don't want that, do we? It's all got to look perfect. Perfect's good. Strange's okay, in some instances. But not this. We've got a nice we've got a nice top of the muscles just picked out there as well. So we've got a nice light tone coming down the back of that. And off her foot. I'll just fetch that in over the foot. There we go. A little bit more down there. So it's going to take a few a few lines because I've got. A nice sludgy grey undertone to that, so I think I just basically need to get a base layer on there on a foot in between the ribbons, and then I can bring that to the fore when that's drying. See, another thing I'm going to do here is her shoes. Well, you can only see one shoe, 
So a shoe is going to be painted in gold, <coughs> which should be quite nice. Let's get that on there. So I've not really seen anything like that before. So I'm hoping, I mean, there's bound to be someone somewhere in deepest, darkest Peru or somewhere like that that's all over what I'm about to do and done it loads of times and really clever with it and whatever, what have you. But I'm not going to determine and I'm going to have a go at it. There's always somebody's done it first. There's nothing new in art. It's just a matter of who's watching there. Natasha's watching and Amanda's watching. Um, it's all a matter of doing your bit as you see fit and creating your own stuff. Being creative. Creativity is both a blessing and a curse. He says. I've gone all profound in my old age. I'm getting rather deep. Put that down there. Still the back of that in. It's lovely to be creative. I absolutely love it. But also at the same time, it can be an absolute pain because it doesn't always go right or it doesn't quite work out or you just haven't got the time and blah de blah de blah. All those and everything in between. Then you beat yourself up because you're not painted enough. So, blessing and a curse. There we go, that's that bit done. That's looking okay. So, a bit more light on that. So, I'm putting this in now, and to the back of a knee, I've got a nice little highlight there. Top of a knee coming down off that. Um, bring that down to that, just comes into nothing down to there. And I'll probably have to go over this one more time just to make sure all of the highlights are, and the low lights are working together because not only are the highlights important, the low lights are important also. Don't forget that I'll be asking questions at the end. Make sure you're paying attention. <clears throat> because these highs and lows just give you a lovely amount of form. But whilst the, the main buzz of the image is going to be all about the gold leaf and the copper leaf and the silver leaf, I don't want other parts of the image to detract from that. I also don't want them to compete with it. So I want a nice, competent, assured piece of artwork on the ballerina. And... I want the wow factor to be all over the leaf work. We shall see. This is how I'm successful. And if I'm not, I'll keep having to go until I am. Because that's all you can do. So, a bit mid tone, I think. Bit of medium, make it dry quickly and flow nicely. And a bit of mid tone. Bit of mid tone on there. Just bring that in because I've got to have it dark at the back. Just bring that down to there. It's working quite nicely. I need, I need, so this is where you start to blend things together. I need a bit of mid tone and a bit of light tone to give me a slightly different tone at the top of her thigh because it's going around the back of her there. So you're losing the light. So I need to give that a different colour value so as it gives you the impression that she's actually that part of her body is turned away from the light. But I don't want it to be too dark. Just 
just about where that is. Just mix this on the brush as well, you see. And a bit of that down there. A bit of that in there. So this is always the same when I'm painting this particular ballerina. I build her up in bits because, as I said, she's so well defined. I just build it up one sort of almost like one muscle at a time. There we go, get that down there. And now get another brush. Another brush, you another number two, that'll do. What's that? Is that two or three? That's a two. Going in with the other number two. Just get a nice point on that first. And then I will get that on the back of the leg. Across this has got make it darker. This has got quite a bit of burnt umber in it. The burnt umber. It's actually even though it's dark, it's quite translucent and it quite it comes up as quick as it goes on. So it's a bit of a pain to paint with. So you generally have to paint the burnt umber sections twice, or even three times sometimes. But they do give a lovely dark effect to the piece, which is what you need for what you want. Because you need that definition. So I keep being that down the back of a calf muscle. Down there. It's coming on okay, you can see what I mean. First I'll check to make actually see what I'm painting. So it wouldn't be very good, would it really? I'm 22 minutes in. There we go. It's starting developing nicely down the back. Let's bring that all the way down to the ballet shoe. You can already see that there's a bit of the definition just starting to develop just off these few lines I've got going down. There we go. A bit more paint, a bit more medium, a bit more of that in there. Bit of a, a slight line just coming off down that side there. There's depth of a muscle through that, so I'm going to put that line in there. I'll blend that through later. I want that to be a little bit thicker down the back of there. Just give me something to work with when I start blending it. And I'm also just going to fill the back in. Lovely, 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 lovely. I need that to be a bit thicker. That's got to be a bit thicker like that. Because as all, although I'm not got exactly what's on the reference in the leotard, because I've got the material, and I need to work the tone of that into the body. So I need to add nice amount, nicer amount of dark. Shadows. There's a lot of pause there between dark and shadows, but more emphasis. Darken the shadows in so as it looks more realistic. Because 
watching some videos of some people paint of the week on YouTube for a bit of research, you know. And they just whack the paint on, it all goes on perfectly. And it's me being very studious and very careful with what I'm doing. So it's all about confidence. Confidence and understanding of your ability. And knowing where the paint's going to go and all that malarkey. So that's nicely blocked in there, it's fairly well blocked in. I'm just going to bring that around there a little bit more. Do all the sound of this paintbrush on the camera because you can't hear that to be too quiet. So that's the darks in. I think I need more mid tone. I need a bit of mid to dark tone, that's what I need mid to dark so again we're basically build, building up the layers that i'm going to blend in before i blend them just give the paint somewhere to go some something to work with Yeah, I think I need a light tone on that. I don't get too too carried away with that. It's always an easy thing to do. You get, oh, this is going really well. This is going fantastic. I'll just paint this bit down there. I'll paint a bit more there. Paint a bit more there. And then all of a sudden, you step back and look at what you're doing. You think, oh my goodness, what a mess. I'm a bit carried away with that. It happens all the time. So a bit more medium. Not really, not flowing too good. It's a bit too thick. Bit more on the front of there. So I'm going to come back on this shin later. I'm going to put put a lot more white into it because it's actually quite light on that part. And I've just spotted when I need to put some mid tone on. So I'll mix that a bit. Just on the back of a kneecap, just on there. Just a little flash of it, just up there. And some down there as well. The muscle. And I need some darker tone. Darker tone. Just on there, where that top of that thigh muscle. Just stretching back up towards. Boom! Diddly um dum dum dum. That's a bit too heavy that is, but it will probably blend out. He says, fingers crossed, hopefully. Right then, right then. Here's the moment of truth. Make sure that's fully cleaned out first. So it is. Okay. Right, so. Let's just pull that down there like that. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Pull that down there. The towel, he says. Again, put the towel completely across the painting, rather than when I can reach it. I'm just going to have, cheers. It's all tonic, by the way, there's no gin in it. Can't have me slurring halfway through me being on the telly. <clears throat> well, the computer. Bring that into there again. Lovely. Lovely. That's looking nice. Let's get the paint off that. See, it's all about doing a bit of this. Getting the paint off. And then I spread that front here again. The front section. That's looking lovely. Blend it into that mid tone there. That's looking very nice. I like that. It's the first pass. That's looking really good. I'm going to a bit more dark in the centre, just for that muscle there. Muscle in the kneecap. Just pop that in. 
get rid of the paint then just blend that back in there lovely now, when that's dried off I can put a nice highlight on that that'll make all the difference to really make it pop that's looking quite good I'm quite pleased there although I will have to go over that dark tone again because it's just not it's just not rich enough just looks just a little bit too too um, transparent blend the dark tones out a bit down there I don't want them to be too strong that's looking lovely that looks really nice it looks very nice in fact in fact that looks bloody gorgeous I'm very pleased with that I'm going to blend that front bit in a different brush And that's looking pretty damn good. Now what I'll do, I will now get the black. Where'd be tall gone? It's over here, you fool. There it is. <clears throat> I'll now get the black and just to finish off for this evening, I'll get the black on. And if I go in over that down there, you'll see how that leg will there just pop and look amazing against this dark tone. So just bear with me, just bear with me. Need a bit of medium on that, it's not flowing too well, which is what I suspected with the black. It's always difficult to paint in and get any detail it straight out the tube because it just doesn't want to play nice. And then into that little crease at the bottom of it. There we go. Pull that down. Back of her thigh. Lovely. A bit more paint. A bit more paint on there. Back of a kneecap, back of the calf muscle. It's already looking just wonderful. Well, if he just wants to pop in a nice way, not a nasty way. Pull that down there. just not quite getting in touch with the flesh tone there we go it's better and you can't see that from where you're standing sitting reclining lounging um because i'm talking about a half a millimeter really of distance between where my paintbrush is ending and where the black's ending and where the um where the flesh tone on the back of a calf is starting but I just want to get it as close as I possibly can without going over it. The, always, the, other, the other difficulty in this is because I've not got a lot of light on this subject, which I could do with having really, which I ought to do. Note to self, give yourself more light. Um, you can't actually see where the brush is on the black paint. I know that sounds stupid, but trust me, it's true. Now that brush is just too big. So I'm going to get a smaller brush, it's just number three, that's a number three, get this number three, just so as I can get around the back of her ankle, can you see that okay in there, in the back of her ankle, and just, because I've got to make a correction to that, because I've got that sticking out too much, so this is the beauty of the black paint, any corrections that you need on the profile of the piece, are quite easy to do, because nothing comes through this, Absolutely nothing. Once you get this down, that's it. Bring that down to there. And I'm just going to be a bit careful down the bottom because I don't want to bring the black all the way down so you've got to blend into the grey. Because what I want to do 
down this part all the way down there so I'm going to have the shadow off the gold that's just not flowing properly get a bit of medium on that there we go that should be better I need a nice arc on the back of the shoe back of the ballet shoe I'll do nicely for that. You start another one, that, that, that form's just gone ping, really standing out beautifully. Okay, put the top there. The other thing with this as well, because I'm getting the black in the background, is that when the gold goes on, whoa, it's going to really jump out at you. It's going to be a salt to your eyeballs when you get the gold on this. It's going to be beautiful. That's the back part done. In fact, I've just got a little bit I want to just correct there. Just not quite, not quite filling that piece in there on the back of a carp. I'm not happy with that. There we go, that's better. Right then, to come down the front. Let's get down to there. Just pick that line up. So you've just got to brush really close to the line, pick up the line that you want to use. There we go. It's got that. That's got it. And just come down a nice steady motion. He says. Oh, it's all gone quiet. Why has it gone quiet, Sterling? Because I'm concentrating. I find it difficult to concentrate and talk at the same time. Well, let's give it a go, eh? What the heck? What's the worst that can happen? What is the worst that can happen? I'm making a mistake. I'm going to have to paint it out again. That's looking lovely. Even though I say so myself, that is looking quite special. <sighs> Bit of fluff there. Where's that, where's that going there? Down the front of a knee. Onto the calf. So the beautiful thing about this now is it's really accentuating the form of the ballet dancer, which is just wonderful because the reason I love painting dancers, it will die, uh, is because there's just exemplifies that there's not a straight part of the human anatomy at all. And you've got all these wonderful curves that just go from one curve into another curve into another curve. It's all quite faultless, the way it all just blends together. Beautiful, you know. And that's what I love to try to capture. That elegance and magnificence and the beauty. There we go, we're nearly there. Nearly there. I had a little bit of a mistake at the top. I just touched the inside of the leg, but I'll leave that until it dries because otherwise I'll just smudge it and the black will just blend into all of the all of the kneecap. See, so it's all a matter of painting light and correcting your mistakes. That's what it's all about, really. There we go. So, I am quite pleased that on the whole, apart from a couple of little mistakes, I'll just pull that down there, and I'll leave that, I'll, I'll do that later, I'll correct that later, a little mistake I made from last week I want to correct, because I've just got, I'll just show you, it's all about the mistakes, everybody makes mistakes, you can probably see, if I just show you the cross there, so that's pulling tight across her waist, and that's coming back because her arms, between her hands will be narrower than between her waist, even though she's got quite tiny waist. But I want to pull that across there. So that I want to give the impression of being tight. So that should come back past there. But you can see that I've got it dragged down slightly that red. That needs to come up to there. But I'll correct that later. And there we have it, boys and girls. I'll just bring it up closer so you can have a good look at what, what, uh, what we've achieved together. So there you can see now that leg 
that leg now is beautifully defined got nice and light at the front mid tone down the middle bit of muscle definition around a knee and the back of a knee and nice and dark at the back now it doesn't look that dark against the black but it is just got a nice bit of definition on there which is what i wanted to achieve i'm very happy with that so that now actually she know that to me you know i will look at this now if i just put that back in the center you can see it better i'll just bring it in a bit closer Whoa. don't do that i'll just bring it in a bit closer there you go turn you around slightly careful just no that's it there you go um you can just see now that loving the definition well, thank you very much you can just see now how that really stands out against that background all that black there and that really does pop so when that black's all in nice not big lump there when that black's all in nice and consistent because at the moment i don't think you can pick it up on the phone no you can't quite pick that up because that's actually quite blotchy and patchy around there and all around here so when that's in and defined and it'll just go it just look wonderful anyway so that was this week's episode of painting with sterling thanks for watching uh, it's awfully nice to have people come along do appreciate it um and yeah so i'm going to try and crack on with that again some more this week and uh, make some more progress on it um if you're watching later just give me a hashtag replay um comments welcome good bad indifferent good ones are nicer and um yeah i'll see you next week for another fun packed episode of painting with sterling lee so cheers have a nice rest of the evening and uh, i'll see you soon thank you